Anna's dad and Anna's mother. Uh, uh, she got uh, selected to CA in this uh, February only, last February only. She got placement in EY Pune. Work atmosphere was it very toxic? Yes. She was always saying we had this is very long working hours. Long do anything, how many hours you have to work, how you have to work Saturday. They they had to work continuously. Night, Saturday, Sundays. No restrictions. The children have to work like that, no? Mainly the young employees, the new ones. Children they are new. They they have they are not able to speak up so much. My daughter just joined them. So she had the she had her restriction. She couldn't speak up so much like all like the older employees. Children think that they have to work so hard. This is how they should they should work. And they try their best to do everything. They don't have time for anything, they don't have time. Sleep. They don't have time. My daughter, she didn't even have time for her person, any of her person. After she passed away, when my nephew went there to take her things from her room, he was saying, "No, sure. She has no time to wash her clothes. Her clothes were half the clothes were in her bucket with, the, with in the soap water. Half the clothes were lying. She had no time even for personal things. Even to, she, she didn't have time. She." Call me every day and night. She's the amma. I can't speak. I, I'm dead tired. I'm just go, I, I'm like going to sleep. Even when she comes back from home, she just let, she just drops her on her. She's so exhausted, exhausted. Actually, this, uh, her manager was the counsellor. That's what, that's what we came to know recently. After she passed away, her senior manager told us, Anna was a, her workings were brilliant. She would have reached the top. So I told him, my child is not here now to hear all this. You should have told her when she was alive that she was doing well. If someone had told her properly that, her workings were okay, that she was doing well. At least she would have had the confidence. She, she, huh? she was not told? No, she was nothing. not told. Her manager, nobody, nobody, told her. nobody told her. She says she wants, she does not want this to happen to any other working professional ever again. Any other child, no parent should go through this. What we are going through. Nobody this. should get same, uh, such experience in future. Jabuji, what I have to say is only in India children are subjected to such torture. If it's outside India, will they ask their employees to work like this? No work timings, no nothing, no schedule, no nothing. Will they ask their employees to work like that? No. Only in India, we they say that we have they say that we have received freedom. In 1947. But our children are still working like slaves. Even now they are working like slaves. Children who study so hard to reach where they are. They put through so much slavery. Why? Why is it happening in our country like this? Why are our children made this summer like this? How, how hard they work. How hard they work to reach where they are. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, they would uh, you know, we like to raise the problem in the parliament. That's that's also be a request from you, uh, David Ji. Oh.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.